pulling into the driveway here and seeing the big rainbow proud, like, I wanted to cry when I first saw that. It just meant so much. Avery Hyman identifies as transgender. Hyman used to travel over two hours from their home in New Jersey to get to New York or Philadelphia because those cities were the only ones offering primary care services tailored to LGBTQ patients. Hyman says distance is something that deters many people from seeing a doctor. You really have to make these huge adjustments in your life to do something that should innately be available to you. Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital Somerset, part of the RWJ Barnabas Health Network, an underwriter of NJTV News, recognized the need and started the Proud Family Health Center two years ago inside the family practice office, making it the first hospital offering services tailored to LGBTQ patients. Doctors were seeing patients one night a week and the wait list started to build. We had a lot of patients that were coming in from as far south as Tom's River, as far north as uh, Bergen County. The Proud Center expanded to its own office across the hall from its former site earlier this year. Even from the time that the, the phone is answered, they are asked um, questions about how they identify. I can just be myself and be not only treated accurately, but kind of like celebrated. Hyman says that's a big deal because they experience discrimination at regular practices firsthand. Kind of treating me like a specimen in a way, like they didn't understand me. According to Lambda Legal Study, 73% of transgender respondents and 29% of lesbian, gay and bisexual respondents felt they would be treated differently by medical staff because of their LGBTQ status. There is a high incidence, for example, in lesbian women in breast cancer or in gay men or prostate cancer because of that very exact reason that they don't go to a provider to get care, uh, really out of fear. 52% of transgender respondents and 9% of lesbian, gay, and bisexual respondents felt they would be refused medical services altogether because of their LGBTQ status. If you can't have your friends and your family on your side, to have a doctor on your side is monumental. It's huge. We're really trying to hallmark ourselves as providing just basic medical care. So if you have a cold or uh, need a wellness exam or um, you know a, a visit for, for work, you can come in and get an appointment at the same day. But as far as specialty services, we do provide uh, HIV counseling and PrEP therapy. Uh, we also do hormone replacement therapy for patients that are, that are gender uh, transitioning. This center is open five days a week, Monday through Friday, and they anticipate seeing over 600 patients in its first year. In Somerville, Leah Mishkin, NJTV News. Thank you.